Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I've got four of the latest Funko Pops from the Star Wars line. I've got three Funko Pops from the upcoming movie, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, and I have the Walmart exclusive Sand Trooper and Dubak right there in the back. And I got these three from The Force Awakens at Target, and it was part of the Force Friday event. Now, I didn't take part in the Force Friday event when it happened, but fortunately, I was able to go uh, to a Target and they had a pretty decent number of these Funko Pops left. They, they had the entire line, I believe, but the only ones that I picked up were Captain Phasma, the First Order Stormtrooper, and the Target exclusive Kylo Ren. So that's really awesome. And then the Sand Trooper and Dubak set in the back, the two pack from Walmart. I got a few days before Forest Friday because they already had them stocked on the bottom shelf underneath all the other Star Wars stuff. So I'm going to take a look at each of these and talk about them. So without further ado, let's get started. And first up, we have the Dubak and the Sand Trooper. And just like all the other characters in the Funko Pop Star Wars line, these two are bobbleheads, even the Dubak is a bobblehead and that's pretty interesting and this sand trooper is awesome too i'm not too sure how well it's going to come off in the camera but he does have some sand coloration on him little brown specks that have been placed all around his armor and of course that's supposed to be sand because it is a sand trooper and it looks really really good um the do bag here he's got some texture all around the body so you can kind of see it just in the Dubak's uh, skin there, but you can actually feel it as well. There's a, it almost feels like rubber, but it's a nice texture that the Dubak has going on there. And then as for the strap on the Dubak's back, it does move, it can move just like this. And of course, like I said before, his head does move up and down, but uh, you're not gonna really be doing any dynamic poses, so to speak, with the Sand Trooper and the Dubak because these Funko Pops are all static figures, so you know, you're not going to be able to move the Sand Trooper's head or anything in an attempt to get him to, you know, hold on to the Dubak or really even ride the Dubak. This right here is pretty much going to be the best look that you can get from this, and perhaps that look is good enough. So if you want to just sort of put this on display in this way, you know, that's going to be great. Not going to be able to hold on to the reins of the Dubak but you can still set the Stormtrooper on there, and as long as you don't move him around too much, he should hold pretty well. As far as the other paint and coloration and things like that go, I mean, this is great, you know, especially for what I think is quite a value price for uh, $20. If you can still find this at your local Walmart, I know a lot of Star Wars things have been selling out like crazy because of Force Friday and the hype being as real as it is, Maybe you'll get more of these as time goes on, but I'm really happy about this. The eyes are nice and black, and I really don't see any. Uh, I don't really don't see any white from the stormtrooper bleeding off into the blackness of his eyes, and yeah, it's just it's just really good. So if you're looking for a large scale Funko Pop figure, something of the six inch variety, then this Dubak is definitely the way that you want to go, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, because this two pack is one of the better values that I've seen in quite a while. Next, we have the Target exclusive Kylo Ren from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, the main bad guy, or is he? Probably. He probably is, but until we see the movie, we won't know exactly for sure. But let me tell you, this is a great Funko Pop. This is really awesome. And the thing that I like most about him, besides that awesome lightsaber that, you know, I'm sure everyone loves, is his clothes. They did such a great job with these robes and it has a texture to it that's almost like chain mail. It's like he's wearing black chain mail. And what I'm referring to is like the sort of the skirtish looking piece right here. And then along his arms right here, that also has texture too. It's almost as if he's wearing some type of ancient Sith uh, samurai armor, you know, just something to that effect. You know, it's just so good. And along the back, check out the three different pieces of of uh, fabric that we have here. I mean, it's, it is plastic, but just the way that it's shaped and molded, you know, we've got like this piece right here is separated from this piece, which is separated from this piece, which makes it look like, you know, he's he's been worn and weathered a little bit, you know, maybe in battle. 
And, you know, she's a Sith, so I'm pretty sure being the most fashionable is not the thing on the top of his uh, list. But, man, this is really good. And also on the helmet, you can probably see right here on the left, there is like a little ding right there. You know, it's like a, it's like a little dent. And I really, I do not think that that's, you know, an error or, you know, the Funko Pop itself is dented. I really do believe that that is a part of how Kylo Ren's helmet actually is. And it might just be me, I don't know, but his helmet looks very similar to Vader's, to Darth Vader's helmet. And it would be pretty cool if that was some sort of revelation. And I'm also thinking that because the, the dents and the dings, you know, they're also all around the back of his helmet. I mean, just you can see it pretty good right there. We've got some scratches and we have some dents. And I don't know. It's like maybe this guy found Vader's old helmet. I don't know. That's pretty cool. There's some more dings right there along the side. So that's really great. Now, these Star Wars figures do come with little bases, like the one that he's standing on. And you cannot remove him from the base, but that's okay. I really don't want to remove him from the base. And that lightsaber is just so great. I mean, it is you know one of the coolest lightsabers uh, that we have seen in a while. Probably since, uh, ever, ever since like Darth Maul's lightsaber, you know. So it's always good to have a nice variety of lightsaber. Kylo Ren looks great. He's very glossy on his helmet. And then his body finish is more of a, of a matte type of uh, finish to it. But it works really well. And man, he is really good. I love the detail on his armor and on his clothing. They did a really, really good job on him. Next, we have the First Order Stormtrooper, and these are going to be the army of guys, uh, most likely clones, that we're going to see in the upcoming uh, Star Wars movie. And let me tell you, Stormtroopers are some of the most popular figures to get. If you are into the Hasbro um, Black Series Star Wars line, finding the First Order Stormtrooper has been incredibly hard. And if you didn't find one in the stores, you probably won't find one for a little while. And the only way that you can get it is by paying outrageous prices online. But anyway, back to this Funko Pop. Um, this Stormtrooper, you know, hey, it's a Stormtrooper. It has the same color uh, scheme as the original trilogy Stormtrooper and the Clone Troopers. You just have black and white. And of course, the biggest difference here is the way that the helmet is. So just to look at a bit of a difference between the new movie Stormtrooper's helmet, I'm just going to bring in the uh, Snow Troop, the Sand Trooper from, from the Dubak set. Now, of course, the different Stormtroopers and Sand Troopers, you know, they may have slightly different helmets depending on what their expertise is. But, you know, you can still see just how, how much of a difference the, the helmet is for the new uh, type of uh, stormtrooper in the upcoming movie and uh, You know, I didn't really know how much I would like these bases But I got to tell you I really do like the bases that these guys come on You know it makes them stand up a little bit taller and it gives them a little more of prestige to them and uh, The other thing before I wrap it up about this here stormtrooper is these are some of the only characters that you know You can intentionally buy multiples of all the time uh, because there's nothing cooler than seeing a big stormtrooper army. So, you know, that's really great. Love that blaster he has in his hand there. Also black and white. You know, the paint is pretty good. Um, I can only see just a little minor imperfections going around. Of course, little imperfections are going to stand out even more when you're looking at something that's white. Because even just the slightest miscoloration, the slightest bit of dirt or errant paint or whatever is going to show up a million times uh, more than you would on, uh, let's say, something like the Dubak that has multiple little colors and textures and shades going on. But, you know, he looks great. They got the eyes, the visor, you know, that looks absolutely great. It's nice and shiny and not not a lot of problems there. And uh, I do love all the all the little bits and bops and details that he has uh, along the armor, the little buttons. And then we can see like right under here. That's a little bit of texture right there with all these little lines and grooves in the stormtrooper so yeah uh once again it's hard to find a funko pop that i don't like and i do like this first order stormtrooper and i think that these are going to be very popular for people who just want to build a funko pop stormtrooper army based off the new movie
And last but certainly not least is Captain Phasma, which from what I understand, Captain Phasma is actually a woman. And that is very interesting. And uh, she is wearing the regular First Order Stormtrooper armor, but of course the color is different. Whereas a regular First Order Stormtrooper is decked out in white and black, Captain Phasma here has a nice silver metallic coloration to her armor as well as this really awesome uh like cape going on here and it extends all the way across her back now look at that now it's angled more so on the left than it is on the right but it is a really good look and it, and it really makes really makes her look like uh you know you're not just the average trooper there's something really special about you and you're probably pretty awesome you know so other than that, I like the way how the um, how the metallic coloration came out on her. It looks really clean. In fact, it looks cleaner than the than the uh, stormtrooper that I have. You know, pretty much the same mold. Um, they have all the same all the same little buttons and grooves and and things like that across the armor and the knee pads and everything. The only difference is the coloration and of course this red and black cape. But you know. It's still very good because I do I do like the design of the new stormtroopers and and this is really great too and I'm really feeling all of these Star Wars Funko Pops and I think the bases really add a, a bit of a premium feel to them and this did an exceptionally good job I really love this silver color it's really good and it's really going to stand out nicely if you have other if you have all the stormtroopers around so. This is Captain Phasma, and she is pretty awesome, let me tell you. All right, and here is the final look at all of these Star Wars Funko Pops I have to show you today. From left to right, First Order Stormtrooper, uh, Target exclusive Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, and Walmart exclusive Sand Trooper with the Dewback. So, all things total, the amount that this came out to, 20 bucks. And let's just call these 10, so 20, 30, 40, pretty much around 50-ish dollars worth of stuff. Target's Funko Pops tend to cost like $8.99 or whatnot, but I just threw an extra dollar in there, you know, just, just because. And these are really, really good figures. I've seen the C-3PO with the red arm at Toys R Us, and I've seen uh, the Finn was also at Target. I believe there's another one at Target, but I, I didn't pick those up. These were the ones that I really wanted, and I am so happy. The paint on these are really good. The value is really good, and I, I really do like these Star Wars bases. I think that it brings a whole new dimension of collectability to Funko Pops, and just there's something about these guys. They seem like they're cut above. I don't know if it's the hype that's getting to me or if that's just the way that it is, but these things are awesome and they make up for the fact that they're all bobbleheads and you know i haven't had the best luck with bobbleheads but anyway thanks for so much for watching this video i will get more funko pops in the future and i will do more videos on those but until then and until next time i'm jeremy and i will talk to you later